So when you're working with the AWS CLI, sometimes you're going to have parameters or command flags that expect file names as arguments, and some parameters will accept either inline text or alternatively, a file path. So here are examples of um, uh, different ways that we can specify a file. So notice that we're giving it a relative path uh, as we just have the protocol and then it's followed with the filter. Then we have an absolute path. Notice that we have triple um, forward slash and that third one indicates that we are getting an absolute path. And then sometimes you will need to um, provide quotations around it or single quotes because we might have a space in the path. Um, some more examples here is that you can have explicit relative. So we can say, uh, I mean, this is relative, uh, the same thing with this one up here. But the idea is that this one is explicit because period indicates the relative path. We can specify the home directory, which is represented by a tilde. You can go back a directory with two dots. Uh, for Windows command prompts, the slashes for the directories need to go the other way because Windows, for whatever reason, or MS-DOS or DOS or whatever command prompt, uh, it likes to go uh, as backslashes as, as opposed to forward slashes. Um, there are commands that can take binary data. And so you might see the protocol have a file B in front of it uh, instead. And then sometimes you need to encode your files into base64. Uh, and so that might be something that is necessary, but that's what this B is for. It's going to um, uh, say that it, this is a binary file. And I don't have this illustrated here, but there are cases that um, you will have where it will want a file, but it doesn't want you to have any file protocol. You'll literally put the name. Why is it uh, inconsistent like that? It just has to do with AWS having a bunch of teams and each team can do whatever the heck they want. So sometimes it will have a flag that can accept it with a protocol, without a protocol, or it can, expect, uh, it can take a string or a file, or sometimes it'll have separate flags for the raw content um, or specifically to reference a file. So just understand it's gonna vary a lot there, but that you do or you can pass uh, parameter files and we will do that uh, through um, our follow along content, okay?